hello everyone welcome back to my channel and to what is going to be another incredibly long incredibly large planner haul um this is a collection of things that i have had sitting waiting in a pile um because i've had a few orders that i've done internationally from some stores that i've never ordered from before um and it did take a little while for them to come in so I do have some stuff here from some favorites and I do have some stuff here from some new stores which I'm really excited to share with you um I guess <laughs> if you haven't already as per usual pause the video go and make yourself a snag grab a cuppa whatever you like come back settle in and let's go ahead and jump into all of these goodies okay so the first store up is Scribble Prince Co. So I do have a combination here of um, some mystery subs as well as some things that I purchased a little while ago. So let's get into that. No particular order here at all. Um, so the first thing that I have here are my Easter overlays or quote boxes um, in a gold. And I did only get the one sheet because my kit that I'm using for Easter that I have <laughs> yet to plan with um i did decide that i was going to use gold foil with so of course it made sense to pick up the overlays in a gold foil very very cute i don't know which one i'm going to use probably this one but we will see so we have that one and i just realized i do apologize <laughs> my brain is a little bit all over the place i've had some things happen in my personal life in the last week or so that have been quite mentally taxing. So my brain is a little bit scattered and I'm a little bit off. So I do apologize in advance. But apparently I forgot to, to show you the freebies first. So the freebies that I got with this order. So the first thing that I got were these scripts. So these are just a black font and a they're on like a clear backing. See what I mean? I can't even hold stickers. Anywho. Um, I also then have this like confetti or pixie dust, I guess you'd call it, um, Disney overlay. So you've just got the one full box there and some header overlays, which is perfect. Cause I mean, if you buy things from, um, the buy swap sell page or like D stashes and things like that, it's always handy to have an extra box lying around. Cause sometimes you don't quite have enough to make up a full spread. So this will definitely come in handy. Um, I also got this freebie so this is in a hollow and this says put a bow on it and then you've just got some icons i love hollow look at that <clears throat> i then got some of the summer freebie icons so these i don't know why i'm doing that <laughs> um but these are in a purple very very pretty i don't know that i have any purple summer kits though so i'm not sure i mean it's not to say that you have to use these icons in summer but that's what we have there. And then I have some scripts in some of that confetti again. So these are just some of the popular. It almost looks like this one's been cut down. Maybe it has. I don't know. And then I also got some of the Once More With Love freebies. I think these were from quite a while ago. So I don't know. But again, those are in that like pixie confetti. I don't know what you call it. I think it's pixie dust. Or pixie hollow, I don't know, but it's hollow. <laughs> um, and then I also got this sheet here. This is the. Oh, this is a freebie. I'm not going to say that out loud because if my husband hears me, he will kill me. Um, but this is one of the freebies as well that I got, and it is just a bunch of functional boxes with the gold framing. So you've got the white backing and the gold trim if that makes sense which is handy because I feel like I use gold the most out of all of the foil colors so it's always going to be handy to have this lying around and to be honest I didn't even know it existed because otherwise I might have had them on hand and bought them into more spreads but there you go now back to the order <laughs> um so the next thing that I picked up was some of the solid bow I was going to say headers but no they're the washi strips um, I picked some of these up because I find that with some of the foil bundles that you get, either with your mysteries or otherwise, 
I don't always like the pattern on the top. So for example, if I have one here, um, let me see, let me see, let me see. So this isn't, I don't not like this one, but for example, in the reformat, in this particular one that I have here, you've got your hibiscuses at the top and you've got your palm leaves at the bottom. So for me, the high, the hibiscus flower is very niche. It's either very summery or like you have to use it for a specific kit. So if you then wanted to bring in a solid bow header, you could then essentially have a strip of these and then use that bottom one there. Or I mean, you could have vice versa if you'd like, but I just thought it would be handy to have some of these on hand because I, I love the bows. I feel like having the bows at the top, the solid bows particularly, and then having like a patterned washi overlay below always looks best to me. That's just my opinion, of course. Um, so I thought it would be handy to have some of these on hand. So I did pick up the rose gold silver, even though it looks gold because of the light in my room. Um, and then the gold as well. So you essentially get two sets in one. So I just thought that they'd be handy to have on hand. I may not use them anytime soon. I may not use them, I don't know. But I just thought that they would be great. And again, it's also a really handy way to bulk up your foil. Um, if you're like me, you don't use all of your foil bundles in one go, but you do use both washi strips. So then when you try to pull in that foil again, you don't have any washi strips to go with it. So I just thought that was handy. Um, apparently I did miss another freebie. So I did also get this freebie as well. So this is a $75 plus freebie. This is very up my alley because pink is definitely my color and it's like a beautiful magenta sort of fuchsia type pink. So that is very, very cute. <clears throat> and now back to the order again. My goodness, what a mess. Okay. So what I might do is I might do the mysteries first and then I will do the rest of what I actually ordered in because I feel like that just makes the most sense in my brain okay so first of all we have here the April 2022 mystery kit so this is it here so it is very obviously it's summer vibes mermaids very interesting because I feel like <clears throat> I've said this before but April for Australia is autumn. So this definitely isn't an autumn kit. So it's always it's always interesting because then this sort of goes in my collection and I don't pull it out until summer, which is fine. But um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this one we have the beautiful mermaids. I do love this box here, the pink hair, the glittery sort of like scales, the ocean. The ocean is like my happy place. It I, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the water. I am a Cancerian. So I don't know whether being a water sign, I'm just drawn to the water, but it is my happy place. So this is very, very pretty. And I think what makes it fun is that the sand isn't that stereotypical, like white, gorgeous, like Caribbean type vibe. It's kind of like this pink rose gold type sand. And it's really, really pretty. Um... And yeah, you just have all of these. I love this box, like the crashing on the waves. Like I would love to live here. I mean, it'd be a little bit scary when the water levels are up and things like that, but it would be so pretty, maybe for a short time or maybe for a holiday, <laughs> then I can go home. Um, and I love the turtles. You've got the little handbag here in the comb and the like scales in the background. So you kind of get those aerial vibes and you've got some makeup and trinkets and things like that. So love this. And we'll just flick through. You have your dolphin toolbox. Very cute. I feel like th this dolphin is very 90s. <laughs> I feel like everyone back in the 90s, like their favorite animal was a dolphin. Or you'd have those like tie-dye shirts that had dolphins on them. And it was just, it was all the rage. Glitter headers. I mean, you guys have seen this format a thousand times on my channel. So... That is why we're kind of just skimming on through. I always love the pattern boxes. They're always a nice change. This bottom washi is really pretty. I would definitely split it though, but it's very, very beautiful. And then of course you have your alternate options. So you've kind of got, she's got like a strawberry blonde 
copper vibe going on in her hair almost and then you've got your different skin tones as well and then you've got some ice cream another skin tone option a different tail option that's interesting so with the different skin tone there's a different tail and then of course as you guys know with the um mystery i always get the foil bundle so this is a hollow purple and you've got like a palm leaf vine <sighs> although these are more jungly to me i feel like beach i feel like the foil that goes with it should be like seashells and like i don't know but i don't know if this goes I mean, I might use the glitter headers and the bougie boxes and things, but I'm not I'm not sold on the, like, Monstera and palm leaves, but we will see. Um, so you get your full box overlays, your headers. Of course, as mentioned, you do get your bougie boxes. Actually, I do have a foil. I bought a foil bundle a little while ago that would probably go perfectly with this. It's called Sunset. And it's kind of like a shimmery, purpley orange. So maybe that will work with this, but we'll see. And then, of course, you have your scripts and your icons. <clears throat> and then last, but certainly not least, you have your bottom washi, some alternate headers, date dots, and some, like, confetti decorative pieces. Again, like I was just saying not too long ago, the hibiscus is very niche, in my opinion, and I feel like the hibiscus does not go with this kit my opinion of course so i'll probably change this up i may use the hollow purple and just not use the extras and try and bring something else in i don't know i guess we'll see when i eventually get to using this kit but that was the april mystery and then we move into the may mystery which surprisingly came very quickly because i feel like i usually don't get the mystery until like two months after the month so like may i would get it in like july but it's here which is good um so again this is the may 2020 mystery kit from scribble prints co and it is this kind of holiday um woods somewhat bougie kind of i don't know it's, it's hard to because it kind of gives me holiday vibes, but then it also kind of gives me like bougie vibes in that like you've got this beautiful house with these big open glass windows on a beach in a forest. So it's almost kind of like, I don't know, an engineer or a builder or an architect or something built something out in the like woodlands by the beach. And they kind of just live there as a happy little family. And I don't know. But then at the same time, it also has holiday vibes because it's kind of like this is like holiday vibes and then you've got like the little outfit and the cheese board. But again, it could just be a bougie family. But alas, <laughs> I love it. The little doggo with the stick in his mouth. Very, very cute. Cheese platter. Love that. Love this double box. Wish I could live here. Don't know when I'll use this because I feel like, again, it's very niche, but definitely love it. So these are your full boxes. And then you've got the tall fashion girl box <clears throat> and again this is the same format as the previous so i'm just going to flick on through and i do that i do love that even though there's pops of greens there's no green here you've kind of got that navy sort of neutral palette i want to see the pattern ones Ooh, i think i like this one the best i don't know this is just always like my favorite page in these in these kits and then the bottom washi, I mean, very dull, but I would split it anyway, like water vibes, lake vibes, but I would split it and put it with something else anyway. So that's, that's perfectly fine. That works. Um, and then you've got your full box there that you can swap out for one of the others that you may not necessarily like as much. Some extra fashion girls, should you choose to use them. Is that it? Oh, one more page. And then you've got the different hair tone, the hair tone, the different hair color, different skin tones. And then again, you've also got an additional box there that you can then swap in or out for something else. And then we move on to the foil bundle for this kit, which is a silver. It's kind of like an upgraded confetti sparkle because if you look at it, it actually looks like little pieces of confetti. 
Um, so same format again as previous. You've got your full boxes here. I do like that there's now the addition of this like um, for the double box. So like when you get to your double box scene, you can then use like that. And then you've got your double boxes covered as well. That's kind of fun. And then, of course, you get your bougie boxes, buy two, your scripts and your icons, and then your bottom washi, date dots, and alternate headers. And then we are back to the start. So those were my mystery kits. And then we are going to jump into the kits that I purchased and then the foil bundles. I think that just kind of makes the most sense. So the first kit that I have here to show you is the cottage core kit. When this kit came out, I knew that I had to have it. It does speak autumn to me, but it also has spring vibes. So I may use it in spring. I'm not sure my autumn lineup's full. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's fine. But I knew that I wanted to get it. Um, there's just something about this. She kind of gives me like gypsy vibes. They both kind of do actually. And then you've got like the whimsical, like the little cottage in the woods. You've got the mushroom, the teapot, the beautiful wildflowers. And again, the colorway, the greens and the pinks. They're like, I don't know if it's all over the world, but in Australia at the moment, especially for like home decor, linen, that sort of stuff. Green and pink is like where it's at. So very very on on brand i don't know on trend um so those are your full boxes and then you have this gorgeous girl again but you have her in the full box so i probably will use the full box and not use that box but we will see and again our format is the same so i'm just going to flick through this green like i can't get past the green I'm still not sold on the rounded edge boxes, but I mean, it is what it is. I don't necessarily use a lot of them in my spreads anymore either, so that's fine. And then I do love these patterns, particularly this one with the like marble sort of inky watercolor gold sparkle vibe. And then this goes back a while. This must be like, I don't know, because you've got the plain full box there and I feel like you don't see a lot of those anymore. Usually there's like an alternate art box or like something that you can swap in for something else. But I guess it works perfectly if you want to lay down a quote and you don't necessarily want to lay it over one of the other boxes. So makes sense. But then you do get the two extra boxes here. So you can then turn it into like a birthday spread or something like that. And you also have a cute little outfit there. So plenty of choice. And then oh, I like this box. This is cute. Another box. So plenty of boxes to choose from. Um, and then, of course, you get your alternate hair and skin tone options. And then we are back to the start. So that is cottage core. No, Jetty. Don't mind me. My dog is in the bathroom next to me because my husband is outside cleaning the yard and this particular dog just gets into everything. So he's currently like in our upstairs bathroom. He has water. He's laying down. He's comfy. But he now has had enough because he's been in there for a little bit. <laughs> And he's just like, no, let me out, mum. Okay, so the next kit that I purchased was the lullaby kit. The minute that I saw this hauled, I don't know if it was actually hauled or if she used it in a spread, but I saw Andrea use this and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. I don't really gravitate to brown kits, but there was just something about the neutral palette, the clip art. I just, I purchased it and I'm like, one day when I finally have a baby of my own, this is probably going to be the kit that I use, of course, provided that I'm still planning or planning in the same style, at least. This will probably be the kit that I use, but I think it's absolutely perfect. All of the art, this little like nursery set, just absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to pick that up. So those are our full boxes. And then, of course, as always, you get some options to trade out your full boxes if you didn't like the ones on the front page which I actually do so that's fine or if you want to do like extender boxes and things like that you've got plenty of selections and then again we're just going to flick through because it is the same format again with the greens though I love that there's greens in everything 
I haven't seen the washi. Oh, there we go. That's very pretty. I like the color of that washi and I like the pattern on that. Am I missing? I feel like I'm missing a box. I'm going to have to check that because I feel like, well, like, where's the extra strip to swap this out for? I don't know. I'm going to have to check that on the website. But either way, beautiful, beautiful kit. And then you do get the little freebie with it, which comes with the, like, doodles or the baby doodles, which I think is very cute. <laughs> baby themed doodles. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay, and then we move on to Snowflake Kisses. I don't have a lot of winter kits, so when I saw this one, I thought it was cute because a lot of the winter kits, I don't have many, but the ones that I do have, they're all very, like, I mean, this is on the same path, I guess. They're all very, like, cozy cabin sort of vibes. So whilst this does have a cabin, it's based outside. So like you've got the girl on the ice rink. You've got the girl with a little snowflake in her hands. It's less indoorsy than the other ones that I have. And it's also a completely different color palette because the other ones that I have, again, are very sort of woodsy, earthy. Um, I don't know. So it was nice to have something that had like a, a, like a jade green, a deep navy blue, and just the snow. Because I think... I don't actually know. I'm trying to think about what I have. But this is different to what I have anyway. Um, so I really, really love this. I just love the colours and, like, the lights, the snow. Uh. And then, again, you've got two different options here if you wanted to trade them in. Can you? I was going to say, can you make her into it? But no, you can't. Never mind. And again, we just have that same pattern, that same layout. But I really do love the colors of this. To me, this is very like typical winter and I feel like I haven't used anything like this particular colorway for previous years when I've planned. So again, it's always nice to have something a little bit different. Even if it's not completely different and even if it's very sort of like blue, which I guess winter is, it's very different to other kits that I've used so it works for me see again yeah I was I have to check these could be old format that might be why there's no extra that's probably why to be honest which means I'm gonna have to try and make some or find some which won't be fun uh, but that was snowflake kisses and then the last kit that I purchased I mean naturally Jurassic World Dominion is coming out soon and I don't think I've seen any updated art so I kind of just went the old OG Jurassic Park vibe and I love that my nails kind of go with this kit I feel like I need to plan with this kit now with these nails off track I know um, but I do love again it's very different to what I would normally use the greens the yellows love 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 it and you've got you know the nod to the the t-rex foot on the floor with the shaking glass and you've got the little nod to is his name john the like old guy that looks like colonel sanders from kfc and then like the egg and then of course our big t-rex and just nostalgia and again love 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 the colors so it might not represent the new jurassic park but i think it is going to be the perfect way to mark going to see jurassic park at the movies, I'm almost 34 years old and Jurassic Park is probably still one of my favorite franchises ever. So love that I can have this. And then again, same thing. We've got the same format going on. So I'm just going to flick on through. And again, just that like I feel like I've said it with all of the kits I've shown you, but like the red, the yellow, the green, there's just something about it. And I have like the, I already have the foil bundle for it. Like I'm so excited to get to this particular plan a week so that I can use this kit. I just love it so, so much. And like, look at this washi, like look how fun and vibrant and bright this washi is. I love that. And the date headers. Perfection. 
And then this one did come with a little freebie sheet. So you get like a little add-on, you get some extra boxes in the brown, I guess to maybe neutralize the colorway a little bit, or if you wanted to color block maybe. But that is the Jurassic kit. And then now we are going to move into the foil bundles, which I do have quite a few of. So <clears throat> some of them I picked up in the same pattern, just in a different color. So in that, in those cases, I would just show you one and then just show you like the additional colors that I picked up. Um, but the first bundle that I have here is this one. So this is a very pretty floral kind of spring vibe and this is in a silver foil and I did buy this to use with the cottage core kit but I'm not 100% sure I may gravitate towards rose gold when I plan with it but we will see um, either way it will work perfectly for spring um, but yeah so those are your full boxes and again this is the same format as what you get with the mystery kits so you get the two full box overlays you get your two bougie sheets, you get your scripts and you get your icons and then you get your bottom washi alternate headers and date dots. I really, really don't like that font. I don't know what it is. Is it Times New Roman? I don't know, but I'm not a fan, <laughs> but that's just me. I like her old format better. Then the next one we have is this one. So this is to go with my Jurassic kit. This is in the gold and the palm leaves and the like foresty vibe, I think works perfectly for that kit. And I think I saw Jemima from, is it just Lovey Dovey? I don't know if it was Lovey Dovey, but like Lovey Dovey to me is how I read it. Um, but I saw her use this and I thought that was a fantastic idea. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna do that too. Um, and again, you get your two full box sheets. You get two of the bougie sheets, your scripts and icons, and then of course the back page there with your washi options, headers and date dots. Um, next I did pick up, let me just separate them into colors. Yeah, okay, so I got, I think I got two of each. Yes, I did. Um, so because I don't have a lot of them in my collection, I do have some underlay or overlay tapes, depending on what you want to call them, but I don't have a lot of bougie boxes in this like confetti sort of subtle pattern. So I thought that it would be handy to pick some of these up. So I picked up two sheets of each color. So I've got them in the gold. I don't really know if you can see that on camera, to be honest. I picked them up in the silver. I mean, if you're using a mystery bundle, the mystery bundle comes with it. But again, if you've got leftovers that you want to try and pull in elsewhere, you need extras to beef up the spread. Um, and then I've got the rose gold, the hollow, and then I also picked up some of the like pixie, pixie hollow as well. So that is that. And then we will fly through these so we can get into some of the other goodies. Um, but like I said, I did pick up some of the older foil bundles as well. So these are in the really old format where everything is just like loose. So this is the gold twinkle bundle. So you get just some little twinkle clusters. You get some foodie icons, which I do use from time to time, but they are quite big. So I don't use them a lot. You get your circle icons, which are my favorite part of these bundles, which is why I still continue to buy these bundles while they are available. And like I said, those are the date dot font that I like. You then also get your overlays. So again, I don't think that there's enough in these. I think you do have to bring in others. So this is what I was talking about as well, is when you get an extra full box, it's always nice because you can then beef up your spread. So yeah, you essentially get six of these when I need, the way that I plan, I need nine. So you kind of have to make it work yourself. But as I said, it is in the twinkle format. So you get the two uh, box overlays at the bottom and then you've got your half cut headers and your regular headers and you get three of those. 
you get your regular foiled icons which are much more on track with what we have now so we only get these in the new foil bundle we don't get these circular ones you do still get your scripts and these are just like the most popular I believe going back to like when this was a thing I think they're still the most popular ones like that's what's on the current bundle but um, and then you get your washi sheet as well. So I got that. That was the only variety of the twinkle I picked up. I then picked up the confetti format. So again, I think it's similar, if not exactly the same, just that it's confetti instead. So this is your confetti deco sheet. And this was in a copper. I think this is meant to be a misfit but we shall see but yeah this is a copper so it's a very orangey um kit which is nice because I feel like it's different for autumn because I feel like in autumn a lot of people gravitate to rose gold so I feel like it's nice to have something that's a little bit different but still in that autumn sort of spectrum I guess again you get your foodie icons I don't know if that color is picking up on camera your circle icons And then this is the overlay sheet that you get. So again, you get the two, the half cut headers and the regular headers. And again, like I said, this is the old confetti layout. So you get three of that particular sheet. You get your regular icons. Your scripts. And then your bottom washi. And then I did pick up the, so in the same format, in the confetti format, I also picked up a gold bundle. And I also picked up another red bundle because I mean, Christmas, hello, perfection. And that I think this, like it's a sparkly red. Again, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's absolutely beautiful. And then I did pick up a, is it? I picked up the star format so I picked up the star format firstly in the like hollow gold like you can see here again it's kind of that like pixie vibe so this is your deco sheet your foodie icons your circular icons your Ah, oh, so this one there is extra. She did she just give me extra? Did she pack double? Because this one I've got six sheets of, which is what I need for a spread. But um, and then like I said, this is I don't know if I said it actually. The star it's the star format. If I didn't say that, it's the star format. If I did say that, I apologize. So you get your headers, split headers, and your box overlays. Your icons, your scripts, and then your bottom washi. And then I did also pick up in that same format, I got just a plain gold. And I also picked it up in what I think was called Black Prism. I don't know, but to me, it's kind of, like it is. It looks black, but it's more of almost like a navy blue. And I don't know if you can see it on the bows there. It's kind of got like a sequiny type vibe to it. Very, very pretty. But that is everything from Scribble Prince Co. Okay, so the next store that I have purchased from, you guys know, I absolutely love Planner Face. So, of course, I'm going to have a Planner Face order in here at some point. So, I'm going to go through the freebies first. So, this order I did do during the PBC sale. And I did spend quite a little bit of money. So, I actually got a bunch of freebies which make up an entire kit and some. So, let's go through those first. So, the first thing that you got was this super cute journaling card with all of the books. I was going to, no, not books, planners. The lovely planner cup, the cute little neon desk light. 
and then on the back you of course have the like computer space the neon booked and busy and some more planners and of course a coffee because who are we if not planner addicts with a coffee and a planner in hand um so that was the postcard freebie I then did use um, one of the PR codes as well. This might have been two orders then. No, it was only one. Oh, okay. So I don't think I got the discount but because of the PBC sale. There was already a discount. But I did use Milan 10 to get her freebie because I didn't have it yet. Um, so this is Milan's freebie and you've got the coffee and flowers full box, some functional boxes, paint swatches, and then you've got some icons and some scripts very very cute and then these are the tiered freebies so basically depending on how much money you spent you like leveled up and got like each tier of freebie so I pretty much like I said got all of the freebies um, which is great but also not great because essentially it's like two kits I mean, it's good because then I can like use the leftovers again to make up in a whole new spread. But anyway, um, okay. So first and foremost, this was also a PBC freebie. So in addition to the PR code that I used to get the freebie, everyone who ordered during the PBC sale did get this one. And you've just got your two full boxes to go with the kit here. And then some functionals. So again, as you'll see, as we go through each freebie, you'll start to see like how it builds up into a kit. So obviously having something like this, if you only got like the first tier freebie, you still might have enough things to make up as spread. But like I said, everyone got this particular one. And then I should probably do it in tiered order, right? Because I think 100, you got like a full kit essentially. And then... The 50 you got I'm just trying to okay yeah all right so in addition to the freebie I just showed you the first tiered freebie was the 50 pound plus I don't know what that equates to in AUD or Australian dollars but this is the 50 plus so if you spent 50 pounds or more during that sale this is the little bundle that you got so it is essentially a mini kit so you get your full boxes there you get some of these like functional type tracking boxes and your weekly tracker I love the colorway of this and like the neons and stuff like love and then you get some date headers, some deco, some glitter headers, some functionals, an extra box here. And then you get some 5mm washi strips, so of course you would have to bring in your own to make the bottom washi work. Some more functional boxes. And then the last page as part of the 50, again you get some more functionals, some more full boxes and some little deco pieces. Although I think with this you got, yeah, this is essentially your whole kit as well. Because even though this is a mini format, you've got four, five, six, seven boxes here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus the, this freebie. So you've got more than enough to make a spread there already. So that was the 50 plus freebie. Then if you spent 75 plus, you also got the glitter add-on. So again, you then get more functional boxes. You get more glitter headers. So again, you've already got more than enough to make up a full spread. But then if you spent 100 plus, shh, don't tell my husband, you then got essentially a full kit. So again, I think the boxes are different. I remember Anna saying something about she changed up the boxes enough that you could make it into like multiple spreads. So like none of your boxes are the same, which is really, really good. Um, so this is the 100 plus freebie, your full boxes. You get another full box there, some deco date headers, all of that fun stuff. A full functional page. More glitter headers, littles and functional boxes checklists deco flags appointment labels paint swatches third boxes like you name it you've got it 
and then here is where you get your full washi strip which is absolutely beautiful like I don't even want to split it to be honest um another box some washi strips and some appointment labels and now that I'm looking at it I'm kind of wondering if this might be the perfect foil to go with it because I mean like hello I think that's what I'm gonna do anyway off track <laughs> um that was the 100 plus freebie and then of course you also got this freebie just to change up your skin tones and some different foil textures I don't know but as you can see I now have enough stickers for this particular two for this particular clip art to do two possibly even three spreads so depending on your planning style there is quite a bit there to get through um the next thing that i might take you through is just the little bits and pieces before we get into the kits so i did also pick up one of the get it done little like notepads so you've got quite a few little pages here and it's just to i guess make little lists as you want to go around and do things which is handy because I found of late that I find myself needing to do a million things at once and then I think about it and I don't have anywhere to write it down and I forget about it and I don't remember and then I'll do something else or I won't do it at all and then I'll remember a week later and it's the same cycle over and over and over again. So I just saw that, that it would be handy to have something like this lying around on my bench so that if I have to do something or I need to write something down really quickly, I have somewhere to do that. And it's in her very cute like terrazzo pattern, which I love. I then did pick up some functional type items as well. So firstly, I did pick up some scripts, not very many, but I did pick up some scripts because I absolutely love this font. Um, so this is the reading script and I picked that up to mark reading, I guess, or what I was currently reading. I did also pick up the this week. So in the instance where I find myself using an old formatted kit that might not have a header or a little things label or something like that to put this week, which is what I always do. I now have this script to layer over some washi or a glitter header just to mark or specify that it's that week, which seems dumb when I say it out loud. But anyway, um, and then I did also pick up the read because I have been reading a lot before bed and I just wanted to mark that sometimes I mean I feel like I don't need to because I do it pretty much most days except for Friday Saturday but we will see I thought it might be handy to have that on hand and I mean if there's a random time that I start reading on a weekend or something that's outside of my schedule so to speak I have something to mark that I did also pick up some doodle icons so I'll flick through those so we just have the little hangers here and I thought that would be cute to mark like laundry or ironing or folding or anything to basically do with clothing, I guess. I got the like pancakes because pancakes are like one of my favorite things to eat breakfast wise. And if we ever go to McDonald's and things like that, I always get pancakes. So I thought it would be cute to have a little icon to mark that. And I don't really have any pancake stickers, I don't think. So I tend to not mark that in my planner. I of course picked up these very like 90s vibe computers. They remind me of the old, old, old MacBooks that we all had in school. Well, all, if you were my age, if you were born in the 80s or the early 90s or even the 90s, you probably had computers in your library or in your classroom that looked like this and they were like white and then they had the colored panels on the side, but that's what they remind me of. And I mean, I'm on the computer like every day for work and then sometimes I stream and game and that sort of thing. So I just wanted a different alternate option to the computer um, computer or laptop stickers that I already have. I then did pick up the like Easter doodle sheet, which I thought was really cute. Cool. I was going to say cool and cute at the same time. Um, and that didn't work. <laughs> and this is in like the pink colorway so you can see everything kind of has a pinkish tone and it's blue with the pinks and the browns and you've got the peeled open chocolate eggs and the easter egg wait the peeled open easter eggs my thoughts are like my mouth is running too quickly the little egg collection the easter ears and the chocolate bunny 
I picked up the little veggies or cutting board just for marking meal prep or like getting things ready for my guinea pigs which is sad because we actually lost one of our piggies a week ago tomorrow and yeah so moving on because I don't want to get into it um, and then I also got some of the book doodles as well and then the last sort of I guess functional item and that I picked up was this like full sheet of Anna's appointment labels appointment labels no fancy labels um, and they're in like the brights colorway I really just like the size of these boxes um, so I thought it would be cool to have these on hand just where I might need to bring in an extra box here or there um, I do really want to get them in all colorways but I think when I looked these were the only ones she had I'm not sure I can't remember because I did again the PBC sale was a while ago but this stuff was sitting on my bench waiting to be hauled for some time now all right so moving into the kits I'm going to start with the monthlies that I picked up so the first monthly collection that I picked up even though I haven't filmed any of these yet it's just been a crazy year um, I did pick up the campfire monthly there is just something about this art the color the way Anna used it I just loved 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 this and had to have it so this is your, I guess, your main part of this collection. And then you move through your more functional. So you've got some boxes, icons, your date flags, some washi pieces, some headers. You then have some like decorative boxes here, some more deco, your bill dues, birthday labels, all of that sort of stuff. So depending on how you plan monthly, or if you plan monthly, you can really kind of do with it what you want. Then you, of course, get your washi page. So you've got some extra boxes here just to decorate that empty space. And then you have your full box girl here who is absolutely stunning. And then you get some like washi strips or some boxes, again, depending on your planning style. And then for me personally, I do like my Monday, my Monday my week to start on a Monday because that's how my working week is and that's sort of how I live my life Monday to Sunday um, so I did pick up the add-on washi or the add-on strip I guess you would call it the next one that I picked up was of course the booked and busy I just love the colors and it's planner and it's like well planner girl um, vibes and I just really really wanted to have this one so again it is the same format so we will just flick it through i just love the colors like the the pink with that sort of like coral red color this fashion girl who's absolutely stunning just love that and then of course the monday start strip and then the last monthly collection that I picked up for this one was the On Vacay. Very tropical summer holiday vibes, which makes me sad because I don't have any holidays planned and I probably won't this year at least. Um, but very, very pretty. And again, we have the same format. I'm just going to flick through. I love the, like, the colorway is beautiful. And then this fashion girl is beautiful. I wish I was her. And then we are back to the start. And again, of course, I got the Monday add-on strip. Next, we have the kits that I purchased. So let me just check to make sure. Because I have bits and pieces from kits like everywhere. All right. So the first kit that I picked up, and I'm kind of kicking myself because I didn't pick up the premium mat, which I normally do. Like every kit that I buy from Anna now, I get her premium mat because the quality is amazing. There is nothing wrong with this. This is a removable mat. It is absolutely beautiful to plan with. It is stunning. But the premium mat just has that extra sheen that I really, really enjoy. But it is what it is. I mean, it's fine. Um, but the first collection that I picked up was, of course, Campfire. And there's just, there's something about this box here, like they're in the lake or the river or whatever it is, and her just chilling on her back. And then this double box scene here, I just, the colors as well. Love it. 
Um, so here are your full boxes. You then have your date headers, deco pieces, etc. You have your functionals page. Again, these colors, absolutely beautiful. You have some glitter headers, littles and functionals. Checklists. Again, this is the format that you saw fairly recently. Just, well, fairly recently, literally like five minutes ago when I showed you the freebie. The bottom washi, like this bottom washi is amazing. And then I, of course, always pick up the glitter add-on just because I like to have the glitter headers in my planner. And then this kit came with so many additional options. So I did purchase this just so that I had the two washi split. But then you did get all of these freebies with the kit as well. So you got the tall box fashion girl. So depending on which you like, you can choose whichever you would want. You then get the alternate skin tone option, another alternate skin tone option, and then your fashion girl here, you've got the different skin tones and the different hair. So plenty of choices so that you can use whichever you most like. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, so this next one, again, there are a bunch of freebies. So this one was actually in Anna's clearance section or her sales section. I didn't want to get this art when I first saw it. I saw a lot of people use it, whether it was scribble prints format, whether it was planner face format. I think the person who sold it for me, it was Kat from Peace Love Plan, I think it is. Kat, if by any chance you are watching and I said that incorrectly, please correct me. Um, but she used this as one of her New Year's spreads and I think it was absolutely beautiful. So I had to pick it up, but unfortunately it was only available in the mini kit. So I had to kind of piece things together in a way that I could make enough of a kit because for anyone who watches my channel, you do know that I like to have at least nine full boxes and I need far too many functional boxes. So I had to do a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle to make it work, but I think I've made it work. So in the mini kit format, you get your six full boxes here and then obviously some functional items. You get your date headers, some deco, again, some more functional items. You then get some washi here, which I figured I could make it work by just bringing in some simply gilded washi. So that was fine. That didn't phase me at all. Some more boxes. And then, of course, I always get the glitter sampler. So I've got the glitter headers now. I also have some extra boxes. I don't know if I did this intentionally just to have the extra boxes, but I did get two of the glitter samplers. And I guess I figured that I could use as many functional boxes as I needed because I do need a lot of functional boxes when I plan because I'm no white space planner. Um, but then I also had leftover glitter headers if I needed them for another spread that might have had a similar colorway. So with that in mind, I figured I now had enough functional boxes. I had my glitter headers and I had six full boxes. So then I also grabbed some add-ons. So I opted to get the couples add-on because then obviously that then brings me in a seventh full box. So I can pick whichever couple box works the best for me, which quite honestly is probably going to be this one. It's hard because my hair is naturally brown, but I dye it an almost black color brown. It's like a dark chocolate brown. And then my husband is a light brown, but not quite blonde. So we kind of both would relate most to this one. But I figured that was my seventh full box. And then you also got this extra box here, which then makes it eight full boxes. So it is not nine. But it gives me eight, which means if I absolutely have to, I can bring in a checklist and I can make the spread work. Um, and then, of course, you do get the alternate fashion girl options as well. So you can trade your blonde out for a brunette or you can trade out a different skin tone. And it is the same for this beautiful fashion girl here. But like I said, it is not the ideal nine boxes that I wanted, but I can work with eight. Um, and if I didn't say it already, that was the Cheers collection. Now, the next collection that I picked up was the 
XOXO and this was originally going to be my Valentine's kit but then I ended up getting cherry lips which I adored but I still wanted to have this and again this was also in the clearance section so I wanted to get my hands on it before it was gone I just love the reds with the blues um so again this is XOXO and this is an older format so it's slightly different to the the campfire kit that I showed you and obviously the mini kit that I just showed you was different again but this is your older format so again you've got everything that you need here it's just formatted slightly differently so we're just gonna flick through see you still got like littles and littles headers which you don't have anymore you have littles but they don't have the icons and I don't know if we have headers. I can't remember. You also then have a full page of checklists as opposed to just the four, like in the new uh, new function, new function, new layout. And I think this paper is actually different as well, which is interesting. And then you have an extra full box there, your beautiful washi strips. And then we are back to the start. And then like always with Anna, you always get a million freebies. Not quite a million, but um, you get your different skin tone options. And then you get your different skin tone options and hair options for this sheet. Unfortunately, the glitter headers for this collection did sell out, so I don't have those. So when it comes time to use this kit, I will have to find my own or make up my own, but that is fine. Um, okay, so the next collection that I have here is the Garden Party Collection. I believe this was released as a mystery some time ago and then bought back again this year. And I just thought, again, the colours, there's just something about yellow for me this year. I feel like I've never used, like, yellow in my planner ever. And then this year, all of a sudden, I have so many yellow sort of spreads, which is fine. I'm happy with that. But when I saw it, the colors, the yellow, the fashion girl, I just knew that I had to have it. And it's definitely very sort of spring leaning into summer vibes for me. So I thought that would be perfect. So these are your full boxes. And again, this is in the same format as the XOXO, I think. So it's an older format, even though it's like a reformat, if that makes sense. It's a new format. It's a newer format than XOXO because this is what I mean. There's no headers anymore. you still got your little things but no icons. Okay, so it's a newer format. Disregard what I said before. Your four checklists and the extra functionals. The bottom washi, which is so pretty. This pattern is gorgeous. And then, of course, as always, my glitter add-on when I can get it. And then for, well, no. And then I also purchased the five millimeter add-on, which is absolutely beautiful. That pattern is stunning. And then of course you get your different skin tone options and hair colors. You also get an extra box there. And then should you wish to change her completely, you then have, again, different skin tone, different hair color. So that collection was Garden Party. And then the last collection that I have here. Let me just get it into some sort of order. This is the Bad Romance collection. And this collection is a collection that I had eyed off in a store for the longest time. But I didn't want to buy it because I didn't know when I would use it. It wasn't quite Valentine's to me, but it also wasn't like spooky enough to be Halloween. And I was kind of like, when am I going to use like bats and vampires? And I don't know. I think I just have this thing for vampires. I just, there's something about vampires I'm drawn to. It's probably the fact that when I was little, my grandma used to let me watch horror movies like quite young. And at two years of age, my favorite movie was The Lost Boys. So I don't know if that's where my fascination comes from but I'm a vampire girl. So we, on a whim, very recently got invited to go and see Dracula's, which is like a cabaret vampire themed sort of adult comedy show. And I thought, you know what, this, that is the opportunity. I'm going to take that. Even though it doesn't directly correlate, I was just like, you know what, Dracula's, vampires, bats, beautiful people. 
done. So I picked it up and that is what I'm going to use to mark that. Um, just the colors, just everything. Like, love this kit. So picked this up. Again, I think this was also in clearance as well, which also helped because it was a little bit cheaper. Um, I think this might be an older format as well. So let's just see. Yeah, so this is like the, the old, old format because you've got your little things with icons still and your headers. But I just, I don't know, something about that like deep maroon color with this kind of like a magenta cherry color and they're like purple. I don't know, beautiful. And this bottom washi, like, hello. Look at that bottom washi. I don't even want to split it. I don't think I will. I don't know. We'll see. Although, again, I was just saying that, that the black foil might go great with the um, booked and busy, but like, there's literally a little black stars here. So maybe the reason I thought gold with this was because obviously there's already gold detailing, but now that I've seen the black stars and this is in the star format with black stars, it's kind of like, well, is that a sign? Um, of course, I picked up the glitter add-on and then freebie wise you get again your different skin tone and hair option your different dudes and gals with different hair and skin tone options and then you get your little bat box here with your three different skin tone options but yeah I'm now actually strongly considering using black even though I had gold or maybe I can use black and gold I don't know my brain is racing um, and then the last thing that I wanted to show you from Planner Face, because it literally just arrived like this week, was the mystery kit. Um, so this is the May mystery kit. So if you don't want to see it or if you haven't seen it or if you haven't gotten yours yet and you don't want to see this art, then please fast forward. Um, but this is the mystery for May from Planner Face. Here is your gorgeous little postcard here. So you've got the little cottage witchy sort of magic vibes are there and then you've got your beautiful little lady here I don't know why I'm getting like Esmeralda like Hunchback of Notre Dame type vibes don't know why but that is the postcard and then we'll move into the kit so this is the kit here and when I opened it yesterday I was like when am I going to use this I have no idea because again very very niche but my hubby and I went to a show with my mother-in-law last night that was a like psychic medium show and I kind of figured again it's not direct but crystal ball angel cards candles maybe I can use it for that we will see but this is the art very very pretty and then we'll just flick through the kit so you've got your like herbs and crystals and all of those fun things. And the best thing about Anna's Mystery Kits is that you don't have to subscribe. It doesn't have to be ongoing. You can literally do a once off and just purchase the mystery for the art that you like. So I think even though we're in May, I've purchased two and I've loved both. And I think that it's really cool to be able to do that because you might not want to have that ongoing charge every single month. Um, and that way you can kind of pick and choose the ones that you want based on the clip art that you see. So... I think that's really, really cool. And again, like the, the colors of this art, like so pretty. Herb garden with like the scissors there. Beautiful bottom washi. This. The extreme magic vibes. Like I love that. Um, and then, of course, you've got some scripts here. You've got some functional boxes, some paint splodges, some deco pieces. Not deco pieces, sorry, icons. You get your glitter add-on, of course. Some extra, extra, extra functional boxes. There's, like, so much in these mystery kits. They're so well worth the money. So that is the foundation of the kit. And then you also get... the add-on and it's called oh i didn't even tell you the name it's called cottage witch so there you go it's like magic and cottagey and cottage witch <laughs> i'm losing my mind 
Um, you then get some extra f uh, functional boxes here. So you've got the like magic book and some like magic tea, I guess. And then the different skin tone option here. And then you get the different hair and skin tone options for your fashion girl. But that is it. That is my complete planner face order. Okay, and now we are going to move on to the final three stores where I've done some orders from some never purchased before. Wait. I'm going to show you some items that I got from some stores that I have never purchased from before. Yes, that makes more sense. Um, so let me just sort the freebies from the orders. And I'm just trying to like put them in categories for you guys as well. Okay, so the first store that I have here to show you, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but is Lalot or Lilotti and Co. Or Lalot Co, sorry. Um, and they are an Australian store. They are, the, the quality of the stickers, I did have a look as soon as I purchased, very, very good. They do foil, they do like regular stuff, like, you name it. If you're in Australia and you're looking for another store that does like foils and icons and that sort of stuff, definitely check them out. Um, but with my order, I did get some freebies. So the first freebie that I got was this one here and it just says follow and tag us on Instagram. And they are just some black and white icons and they're, it's just like a white premium matte paper. So there is that one. I was also then given some of these transparent date dots so these are perfect for marking like birthdays and holidays and things like that in your planner and then I also got a foiled freebie that says thank you it is in gold foil and you've got like a little paw print here you've got the thank you script you've got your like divider your scripts you've got a little heart there and then again just to follow us on Instagram and I did get an array of items because, again, I figured new store, I might as well check everything out. So I got a couple of different things. So the first thing that I picked up was this, like, book icon sheet. Again, I have been reading a lot lately, so I just thought it would be nice to broaden my book collection, like my sticker collection, I mean. Um, so I picked these up. Again, it is a premium, really soft, smooth, buttery paper. Really, really happy with these but those are just one of the options you have in the doodle icon or icon range i then picked up some scripts and i wanted to see two different styles of the scripts so i picked up and these are custom by the way so i think there is a stock standard range and then if you want customs they also do customs so these two i did get made custom in two different um, fonts so the first one that I've got here is played DBD or Dead by Daylight. Um, I do play Dead by Daylight with my friends at the moment every so often, but it did used to be quite frequently when I ordered these, which is a shame, but it's good to have them anyway. Um, and again, this is just on the premium white. Um, so you've got like the white backing and they do come, you can get them with the white backing or you can get them in a clear backing as well. So this is one of the font options. So I think it's custom foil option eight. That's how I read that. I'm not sure, but you can check that all out on the website. There are examples there that you can look at. And then the secondary custom that I got was this sleep in one. And I think again, this is custom font option five. Again, check it out on the website. There's examples you can choose. You can have a browse at what they look like. Um, and again, this is just on the premium matte paper. Um, and it's in more of like a bubble font, which I guess kind of looks more like my actual handwriting. And then, like I said, because I wanted to explore all of the options, I did then get both of those customs, but I also got them on the clear backing. So this is the plate at Dead by Daylight on the clear backing. As you can see, I've already used one. Um, and as you can see, if I just lift this up here, if I can, I can't do it with my nails, apparently. Oh, doesn't work. But there you go. So it is on a clear backing. So I got the exact same thing again. 
but in the custom. So then I also got the sleep in on the clear backing in that same font that I used before. Um, I then also wanted to pick up some foil and again their font options were, there was a couple of them. So I did pick up some month scripts. So the first option that I got was this one here and it's kind of like a cursive, almost calligraphy type font. So I picked this one up in the rose gold and in the holographic foils. Very, very pretty. And then I got a secondary font choice, which is probably my preferred of the two. I like this one more, I think. Um, and these ones were in the silver and gold, because like I said, I wanted to explore all of my options just so that I had a bit of a range to sample. Um, and silver and gold. And yeah, I just, I don't know. I think this is more bold. And I think when I'm using it in the top left hand of my spreads, this would just stand out more. But both are very, very pretty. And then the last couple of things that I purchased. So I did purchase some... Um, what are they called? I'm having a blank at the moment. So if you know, please let me know. They're like the scalloped pattern. Um, so there, again, there was a couple of different patterned varieties. So I picked up two different variations in all of the foil colors. So this was the first variation. So like I said, I got that one in a gold, a rose gold, a silver and hello did I not oh yeah and then the hollow and then as you would have just seen I got a second style and I got that in the hollow the rose gold silver Hello. And the gold. Um, I then also opted to pick up some date dots because I'm running low on all of my date dots. And when I saw these date dots, I actually really liked the font and the size of them. So I thought, why not? So these are them. And the first one that I picked up was red because I figured that I have red foil bundles that I'm going to run out of date dots for so i wanted to have like an alternate option on hand and the red is stunning so pick them up in the red they're all in the same font just different foil uh the rose gold the silver hollow and last but not least in the gold and that is my entire order from Lalotte or Lalotte Co. Again, if you haven't already and you are looking for some more foils, some more icons, functional items, anything at all, definitely check them out. Really quick shipping. Like I said, you can get custom scripts, you can get custom bits and pieces made. So what have you got to lose? The next store that I have purchased from is a store that I have wanted to purchase from for an incredibly long time. And I just kept putting it off and putting it off. I had a cart ready for the longest time. And I finally bit the bullet, so to speak, and purchased from this store. So again, it is another store that is it's a first time purchase. Um, and I'm really, really happy with everything. So this is Carly Plants. And first of all, this was the April freebie. So I did order in April and I got the items yesterday. So it took roughly six weeks I think to get here which I guess is kind of pretty on track for international um but this was the April freebie and then I did also use the MRK plans code on my order so I got Emma's freebie as well I love the little coffee cup that is so so cute I also love the Pokemon ball because she's always talking about playing Pokemon and then I also got the $15 and $30 freebie. So the $15 was this one here. And the $30 was this one here. And it, this was the exclusive colorway for the month of May. 
and then with this order I got basically a bunch of scripts so I got I think I got two customs and then some of her regular stuff and then I got some of her doodles as well so let's go through the doodle icons first so the first one that I got is the book stack again as I mentioned just before I have been reading a lot and I wanted different ways to be able to mark that in my spreads and I thought this was really cute because you've got your coffee cup and your stack of books realistically you could mark it like you could use this to mark like homework or studying or whatever you'd like but I thought that were a really cute icon so I wanted to get those I then picked up the plum bobs. I do have some plum bobs on hand from Sticker Thief, but they do only come in the green, yellow, red. So I thought it would be fun to have some plum bobs in other colors that I could then bring into spreads a little bit more easily. Um, and to mention it, because I haven't already, this paper, it's like a, I think it might be vinyl. It certainly smells like vinyl. Which is fine because I don't need to write on them. So to have icons in vinyl is probably gr really great because obviously the quality and the durability is like much greater. I then got the painting one for two reasons. Firstly, because I've started doing like paint by numbers. And secondly, because I really, really, really want to go to one of those like paint and sip places. And I wanted something cute to be able to mark them. So even though I might only use like one or two stickers from here, whatever. <laughs> Um, I then got the retro gaming icons. I don't know what possessed me to get them. I do have a couple of retro kits. So I figured that when I use those retro kits, if I'm gaming or something, I can kind of use these to mark that. Um, but you have your little Game Boys and your Tamagotchis, which is like my childhood 90s. Love that. I then, of course, picked up the microphones because I have absolutely nothing to mark doing voiceovers or anything like that. So I actually picked up two of the microphones. They were really, really cute. And then this one made me sad when I looked at it yesterday because, like I mentioned, we did lose one of our guinea pigs last week. And I did this order before, like, well and truly before I knew he was even sick. Um, and this was to go back and mark when we lost one of our dogs last year. And when I saw these, it made me cry. And <laughs> I'm getting a little bit emotional now, to be honest. Um, but I thought that they were really cute. And just like a really delicate way to mark the passing of a loved one or a pet or yeah. Um, oh, and this was also a freebie apparently, which I didn't see because of the size of it. So this is the 50 plus freebie. Um, and this is kind of just like household, I guess, because you've got like cleaning icons and then you have wine. Because I mean, when you clean, why not wine, right? Although that looks like a plate with like a sponge and some wine. I don't know. So maybe you're cleaning the dishes and drinking wine. I have no idea. Um, and then moving into the scripts. So there again with Carly Plans, for anyone who isn't familiar, you do have multiple script options. So I did try, I think, two different varieties. So this is the first custom that I had made up. So this is... I don't know what font number, um, but I got Twitch Hangs made up because I spend a lot of time on Twitch. If I'm not streaming myself, I do watch my friends stream. So I thought that this was appropriate to have. And then this is my absolutely favorite font. I did, to be honest, think that this would be a little bit bigger, but I'm not mad that it's smaller because it means that I can use smaller stickers. Um, I think this is the Duo font. Um, and this is like my favorite font from her store. So Basically, a lot of what you're going to see here, with the exception of maybe one or two, will be in this font. So this is the YouTube binge. I then got sick day. I got clean in the alternate font. Because I just wanted variety, you know. Laundry. Waxing and nail appointment. Because I do both of them at once, essentially. Load the dishwasher because who doesn't want a cute way to mark loading the dishwasher when you're old and that's kind of a major part of your day. I also got the holidays. So this is holidays part one. And then of course there is holidays part two. I purchased waxing appointment. 
I got a headache in the alternate. I think I got like the one words in the alternate font and then everything else in duo font. Wash hair. Animal Crossing. Sleep in. Hair appointment. And then holidays in the alternate fonts. So again, part one and part two. Coffee Monday. And then I also got the Hello Month and Seasons. So I've got them in the duo font. Nail appointment. I got them separately as well because even though I do waxing and nails at the same time, sometimes when I get like my head on or whatever, I don't have time to do both on the same day. So I thought that at least if I had them separate, I could then mark them separately if and when I ever needed to. This one is also a custom. So this is the Walking Dead because Hubby and I are trying to finish the Walking Dead after many, many years and many, many seasons. And then we are back at the beginning, but I did forget to mention that these are all a clear backing sticker. So it's like a black font on like a clear back. And they are amazing. Like I'm so excited that I finally have some of these scripts. And to be honest, at some point I will probably go back through and order like everything. But now I have to put this sticker back on this sheet, which is going to be a nightmare. Anyway, moving on. Okay, and we are now on to the final order that I have to show you today. And again, this is another new to me store. This is a store that I have eyed off for the longest time. And there was a few shipping issues because of COVID and whatnot. But when the stickers finally came, I'm absolutely in love. And I cannot wait to purchase more items from them. Um, the store that I am talking about is Planet Fancy. And this was one of the kits that I picked up. So I only have two kits here because they are a little bit costly, which again is fine because I'm used to paying like for kits from SPC. So I think these are on par, maybe a little bit less than SPC. Um, but Planet Fancy do offer a glossy and a premium matte option. I did opt for the glossy just to see what it was like. I'm kind of torn because I use Scribble Prints kits and they are glossy and then I use Planner Fake fake Planner Face kits and they are premium matte. So I use both so it doesn't really bother me what format it's in but I just thought I would try the glossy. Um, so this is the first kit that I picked up. I don't actually know what it's called and it's not actually written on the kit anywhere so I do apologize um, and I'm not sure if it's even available anymore. But you can obviously look up Planet Fancy on Google or Instagram and find the website there and you can go and check out all of the kits. Um, but I thought this kit was absolutely stunning. I thought that it could be like a Valentine's kit or an anniversary kit or just like a, you know, romantic weekend away type kit because it is very like luxurious, it is very loved up, very sort of sexy. Um, I don't know I just really really was drawn to this art particularly this bath scene because I love baths I love water views like hello who doesn't want to be in this bath and then I just liked the extra additions like the reds the pink drink the like fairy floss like martini the candles like this it just spoke to me and I had to have it so really really pretty so those are your full boxes and then the functional boxes, I feel like they are absolutely endless and it is amazing. So these are your functional boxes. But then you also get the patterned variation of the boxes. So like, great. <laughs> and then you have some washi strips. I mean, these you can kind of use as decorative strips or you can use them as headers or you can use them for your sidebar or you can use them as functional boxes. I guess you can do the same with the washi strips on the top too. And the colorway of this kit is so, so pretty. You then get some like functional, like you've got appointment labels, fancy labels. You've got that like thin washi strip down the bottom here, the weekly tracker, some checklists. You then get some little deco pieces. You get those squared off boxes, some page flags and some more appointment labels. And I think these are very interesting because I feel like I haven't seen them anywhere before. Some more squared off boxes, some more deco, you get some scripts. 
an extra functional box here you get the three washi options or variations depending on what you'd like and then of course you've got your date headers there and then you come to your add-ons so i got the glitter headers you then have this big like it's a double box seam without being a double box because obviously that would take up two whole boxes and it's a tall box as well so i mean it's up to you how you use it. i probably wouldn't use this box but i may well use this box um, because again just the way that i plan i would put that in the sidebar and then i would use the rest throughout the week um, but that is the first kit and again the gloss it's so beautifully soft and smooth and then the next kit which is the one that i had been waiting on specifically um, is like this easter kit and again this was the artwork that i fell in love with because when i looked at it even though it sort of screamed spring there was like pops of orange and yellow which i kind of thought fit perfectly within autumn and again i think i've said it before but i'll say it again for australia easter is in autumn so when i saw this i just thought that the colorway worked better for us aussies um but because of the shipping issues because of COVID and carrier and all of that just the delays i did end up opting to use the same clip art but i used it from planner face so this will probably be my easter kit for next year i'm hoping hopefully i don't go crazy and like buy 10 million other kits um but no this is beautiful and i cannot wait to use it so it's going to go in my collection and i will use it next year <laughs> you guys will keep me accountable um so these are your full boxes and then again it's going to be the same format the only thing is is these do pull away from that yellow orangey color which is why i got it in the first place so i don't know we'll see it's still very pretty and again easter is kind of like a holiday so it's fine i can use whatever what is that um so again it is the same format as before you've got your patterned variation boxes as well the washi strips your checklists functionals and i guess layering pieces some scripts and deco your bottom washi i really really love this box i don't know what it is i just love that box your date headers washi strips and then again, you do get some freebies with this one. So in terms of freebies for this, you have glitter headers. You have full box fashion girls. You have extra skin tone options and hair color options. This scene in a double box, which I may be tempted to use. This is a double box which says Happy Easter, which again, I may also be tempted to use. And then more skin tone and fashion options. But that is the last and final kit that I have to show you for this whole video. Anyways, you guys, that is everything that I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved everything that I hauled for you. I do apologize that it was so incredibly long, but you guys should be used to me by now whenever I do a haul. It is generally the length of a movie <laughs> but so as to not extend that any further again thank you so so much for watching please if you haven't already consider liking and subscribing um, you can also hit the alert button so that you can get notified every time i post a new video um but yeah i'm going to leave it here who knows when my next haul video will be um probably not anytime soon because this is like all that i've really ordered recently so we will see what happens um but yeah i will see you all very very soon thank you all so much for watching again i think i've said that 800 times but i mean it um and yeah i will see you all very very soon with another probably plan with me video <laughs> thanks for watching everyone bye for now